Hello friend, welcome to Stack Phi and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Hey what's up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is Ramesh Zaman and today I have a question from the topic error analysis. But before that, I need to make one confession. It's that my favorite actor is Salman Khan. Ur ur dabang 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 dabang. Jokes aside. I sirf comment section mein gali mat de raha. Anyways, in today's question, we have an optical bench has 1.5 meter long scale having four equal division in each centimeter. Fine, this will give us the list count. While measuring the focal length of a convex lens, the lens is kept at 75 centimeter mark of the scale. The object pin is kept at 45 centimeter mark. The image of the object pin on the other side of the lens overlaps with the image pin that is kept at 135 centimeter mark. Indirectly they are saying that the image is formed at 135 centimeter mark. In this experiment the percentage error in the measurement of the focal length of the lens. Pretty easy. So let's go to our solution. So if this we consider as our experimental setup here if we consider as x equals to 0 our object pin is at x equals to 45 centimeter lens is at x equals to 75 and the image is at inverted image is at 135 centimeter okay so first let us find out the least count it is they have said that one centimeter mark is divided in four equal divisions so least count is one by four that is 0.25 centimeter okay so the object distance that is the distance of the object from the lens is xl minus xo 30 centimeter but while putting the form inside the formula we will use minus 30 centimeter okay minus 30 centimeters so v is x i minus x l so that is 135 minus 75 that gives us 60 centimeter so while calculating the focal length we'll use this Gaussian formula so 1 by 60 minus 1 by minus 30 will get 20 centimeter but our actual question was to find out the percentage error percentage error so this is our principal formula so finding out the principle, oh sorry, the error, we need to just differentiate both sides. So we get df by f square, dv by v square, minus will, con will get converted into plus. Because while finding the relative error, we won't put any negative sign there. So we'll just pull the f here, dv by v square, du by u square. So as we have seen that v was equal to x i minus x l right so just put that here and u was x l minus x o so while finding out the values of u and v we need to take two readings okay in the case of v we need to check x i and x l so we will get two errors okay as you have, as you can see here similarly while measuring u you need to take two readings of x l and x o again you will get two errors separate errors and those errors will get added up just converted this minus to plus so dx1 is 0 0.25 dx2 is 0 0.25 dxl is 0 0.25 dxo is also 0 0.25 just put the values f we already got as 20 v is 60 u is 30 just do the calculation you will get 0 0.0138 so the percentage error is 1.38 just remember one thing while calculating percentage error Please write down all the fundamental formulas. Start from the very fundamental formulas. People make the mistake uh, in this type of questions. Like initially when I was trying to solve it, I was writing dv as 0.25 and I was always getting the wrong answer. But later I thought that of course for measuring v, we need to measure two separate readings. We need to take two separate readings. So there should be a double error that is 0.25 and 0.25. So things to remember, just keep in mind while atten attempting the questions in your exams. So I hope you all have enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take care. As you have come to the end of the video, you get a cookie. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take care.